you have at least five of any line specific bands on a Western one. The 23, the outer surface protein C. The 31, the outer surface protein A. And that's assuming they did not get the line back signal. The 34, the outer surface protein B. The 39 or the 8393, these are line specific bands. Any one of those bands shows up in a patient who has symptoms that come and go and migrate. You're playing line bingo, bingo, they have line disease. Approximately 51 speakers, both nationally and internationally, uh, who will bring to you the theme of this um, annual meeting, which is um, evidence based medicine. Please welcome Dr. Joseph Orskan. Thank you, Rich. Because if you don't do something to reduce your exposure to tick-borne diseases, the persistence of the organism drives this inflammation and autoimmunity. I can tell you that it is the largest Lyme disease conference that's ever been given. Because we have here an illness like others that I've handled, like AIDS, which are multisystemic. Those repetitive behaviors, those a lot of times don't go away with, with even adults with autism. I mean, young children into their mid-teens and even young, I mean, even adults, those same type of repetitive behaviors just don't go away. So the fact that they just completely resolved once they started antibiotics, I thought was, was very significant. You don't have to have CDC criteria, that's for health departments to epidemiologically find out if someone has the disease. 